the next part is about the research okay because your next assignment is the formal group presentation and you, you need to do research for that topic for that academic topic so you need to do research now the goal of research the purpose of research is not to submit it to get scores okay but the core of it how, why do you have to study research is that you need to research something you don't know you research that so that you can increase an understanding of that topic okay you can learn something new or interesting about that topic in case you already know about that okay or even for last one you might not learn something new but the more you research the more you gain expertise on that topic okay you are going to know more and more and more as you repeat that process over and over again now where can you go to research well libraries but nowadays we all know that the internet is like the biggest source where you can find uh, information for your research okay uh, but when you go to the, the internet there are so many things you can choose from but you have to decide what tangible materials can we use so tangible here what does it mean anyone well tangible actually means touchable you can touch that you can feel that so tangible materials here mean if it's just like oh someone told me that oh someone gossiped me about this it's just gossiping you can't actually touch the person who who started the gossip okay you you just see shadows you can't touch that person it's the same way here if you want to know if that information is correct well quotation is one thing that you actually know oh that person says a that person says b that's tangible you know that okay but whether that is the right or wrong information that's another thing to consider okay so think about that tangible you can touch it well books articles magazines academic journals encyclopedias and newspapers of course uh, these are the physical materials you can find sometimes uh, the library sometimes even while you're waiting in the clinic okay you see uh, what uh, medical articles for example okay but where do we look online you might ask well of course websites blogs online encyclopedias even okay so lots of places to look for uh, but there are pros and cons of using the internet to research okay be think of that for a second okay well good things for using the internet well of course you don't you can do it anytime you want the internet doesn't have a opening or closing time okay it's 24 hours but libraries places where they sell uh what like bookstores b2s uh, they have opening and closing hours and even sometimes they don't have the stock right sometimes uh in this 7-eleven branch they have this magazine but in another branch in front of the university that magazine is nowhere to be found right so lots of pros and cons internet has every if it's internet if it's in the internet normally okay it stays in the internet even when someone deleted that well it might actually be in the server somewhere in the cloud even okay well but there are also cons right because there are so many things put on the internet for example if you just type a uh, smartphone on youtube tons and tons of videos right but how do you know that that person who's talking about smartphone actually know what he's saying or she's saying okay maybe i i can just show oh this is the best smartphone i've used that's on youtube uh actually i bought this for like yesterday but in my opinion it's already the best right but how can you believe that person well if steve jobs showed the iphone of course we believe him right so credibility is actually the key thing here okay that you have to select all those sources it's all very what you call maybe it's uh 
scattered okay in this place in that place so it's your job to use a broom and collect all this information together but if you actually like buy like a, a medical journals like a physical one well all you want to know is already in those papers okay you don't need to okay click that access that log into that see many steps ah. But even if you collected all those informations, you have to categorize it. You have to uh, find the credibility of that source. Many, many more steps. Okay. But just think of the pros and cons and think of how you can do it in your own ways. Okay. Now, like I said, credible credibility. Okay. Is the key here. So websites, right? If you want to know if it's credible or not, well, Look at the publications, okay? Who published that information? If it's kapuk.com, mtai.com, oh, okay, okay, many people, uh, it's very popular among people, right? But who, if you scroll down and see, oh, uh, it's from another website, now you're going to be confused. Huh? How can they, go? Do, did they copy all the information from the main source and then put it in their website or is there are there any changes between copying these things and then paste in their website see they can say that oh the information is uh based on okay based on uh, the numbers from the ministry of the uh, it's based on but maybe the actual number, the actual figure, say 48% of COVID-19 patients are uh, are male, for example, right? But the actual, what do you call, but when they copy and paste on MTI, on Sunuk, maybe the number changes. Maybe, oh, like uh, half of the patients who got COVID-19 uh, are male. You see, the word half is actually 50%, right? But... Oh, maybe the like the what do you call the one who put the information there think uh oh forty eight is enough to be half, who knows okay so look at the publication Times, uh Times magazine um the Nation uh, for newspaper is it the Nation uh Bangkok Post or is it just Chiang Rai Focus eh Chiang Mai Traveler ah for example but it's also the news is also in English but. Think about the credibility, okay? So, and also focus on your topic. If you want to do the research about climate change, uh, I don't expect you're going to find much information in, let's say, uh, mtai.com, for example. Maybe it's in the category of uh, environment, uh, environment news, uh, but not like deep in not like a deep knowledge or uh facts and figures you can use in the academic paper okay different very different so find the appropriate source for your appropriate topic also credible sites they should have publications they should show that where the information come from they also should show who write that article okay provide the author's name ah why because in some paper in some uh sites you can see that this article is written by more than one author okay uh and sometimes that's a good thing because it means like if it's just one perspective you might only see the good side of going to the movies for example but actually if there are more than one authors maybe it's not just like a superficial good reasons to go to the movies. Maybe you can see, oh, actually going to the movies help like Thailand's economic. Ah, see, that's that's more than just superficial. You got more perspectives now. Okay. So what else? Uh, cite references and sources for the information. So, like I said when you do the slides for your academic topic uh, remember where you get that information okay i might ask during the presentation oh where did you get this number that's interesting see you have to be able to tell me but maybe i don't ask it out loud but 
bear in mind that someone might wonder where this information comes from whether it's numbers or uh, maybe quotes okay of course I want to know where it's from so put cite the references there okay cite tell me the sources of that information or I'm going to think that everything you put there is by your own words this is how you avoid plagiarism okay and be careful of unreliable sites okay some examples of these are personal sites for example if you want to go to Chiang Mai uh, you want to travel to Chiang Mai and you are looking for uh, information right you've never been to Chiang Mai before for example okay and you see a, a writer's blog okay you see oh this traveler is uh like she she writes like in her diary but it's like a uh blog on the internet and she says oh Chiang Mai is very beautiful uh Chiang Mai is very cheap you you don't have to carry a lot of money to be there see but you see because it's personal sites so it's her perspective she can say it's uh cheap you don't have to carry a lot of money because she has like 10 million baht in her bank okay but for us mere mortals if we only have 5000 baht in our bank you can't honestly say that oh i can travel in chiang mai like because everything is cheap it's hard okay if you go to cafe like beautiful cafes and order like uh, expensive drinks 5000 baht might not be enough okay so be careful of where you get your information from okay also is that information edited by users by other users well you know what i mean like wikipedia if i write like um if i want if i if i want to write a wikipedia uh, if i search bnk48 in wikipedia and then you're going to see description oh okay bnk48 is an an idol group uh, that's franchised from japan and very popular in thailand but let's just say i don't like bnk48 okay but Wikipedia has an option that I, any other users, can edit that information. So I just, hmm, I don't like BNK48. So I just delete what that person wrote and then I write, that is not that famous in my, like, not that, not, not that famous in Thailand, for example. So you see, it can contain bias, okay? So be careful. Also, like I said, bias, display an obvious bias. Ah, with Wikipedia, but it doesn't mean that anything in Wikipedia is useless. No, it's actually really useful as a beginning, the beginning of your research. Especially like some of you uh, might think you want to do research about climate change, but you don't actually know what climate change is. You don't know the factors that cause climate change. What you see around your what in daily life you just say oh uh let's recycle to reduce global warming and prevent climate change uh let's do this let's bring your own uh cup your own tumbler to the coffee shop so to help with the climate change you heard the word but you don't actually know what what are the reasons for climate change so the first step actually is to go to wikipedia so that now so that you have the general or the basic knowledge of climate change okay uh, but I warned you do not use Wikipedia as a referenced source okay because there's no author's name in the Wikipedia okay you don't say okay Muay Thai Wikipedia ah you see ah, Muay Thai is a Thai traditional sport these are all words right but you don't actually know who write that maybe the per you don't know if okay if the person who write that is like a, a master a teacher of thai boxing a historian okay then you know oh okay we can believe him but what if i just learn muay thai for one day and then i write wikipedia page about muay thai like maybe that's less credible okay so don't use it as a reference source but use it to find sources okay what do I mean by this? Well, when you go into Wikipedia, right? You can say, okay, Muay Thai, and then Wikipedia. You can say Muay Thai is a Thai traditional sport. Skip that. 
Look at the number, okay? It's going to say Muay Thai is a Thai traditional sport dated back to Ayutthaya era. Eh? Ayutthaya era, and then there's a small brackets on top of the word, on top of the last word, number one. See? If you click that, it's going to link down on the page. Let's say references, okay? And then you can see that, okay, with number one, it says, okay, uh, uh, Pong Sawadan uh, Muay Thai. Yeah, see? Nu kien nung kien pi arai wa pai. So you're going to see where with that sentence, how can they claim that? Oh, okay. This person who write the article uses the, what do you call, uses the information from this source, okay? So don't site okay uh muay thai is the thai traditional arts uh, that has been that happened for a long time ago and then comma wikipedia comma access 2020 don't do that but you can use that okay uh it's a thai traditional sport okay comma and then uh uh thai what do you call can be it can be like a thai uh history of thai traditional sports uh 2000 oh no maybe 1920 and then now, now you know that oh okay uh this information comes from you have to find the origin of that source okay find it find the external links or the list of references that shows there but not what it's written on wikipedia okay i know that the wikipedia it's good for when they explain something is quite clear and the, the details are quite uh, thorough sometimes, okay? You can find everything in one page. Ah, but to be able to use that source, you have to find the original source and trace back to the sources that Wikipedia use, okay? Then you can cite that source, okay? Now, citing source means uh telling the audience telling me telling anyone where you get that information from okay uh so that they know this is not your idea not your words this comes from somewhere you do it so if anyone who's listening to you who's reading your work know where to find more information on that topic okay to why so why do we make a reference list or cite sources well, like I said, you want to avoid plagiarism, okay? Uh, you do that first to show respect. You are, like, if you say, oh, you know what? 4,000 people uh, start, what do you call 4,000, more than 4,000 people apply for Math Falun University each year. If you say that, it's, it's almost like you are claiming that, oh, you do the research. You actually count the person the people who enter the university each year, okay, one, two, three, four. But no, actually, you find that information from the university website. So you need to give credit where credit's due, okay? Show appreciation. Uh, and, of course, present knowledge, builds on past knowledge, so they know where to find the next information. So they know that, okay, if they want to do more research about uh, Mephalo University, they need to go to this website and explore further, okay? And, of course, it's not listed here, to avoid plagiarism. You can get zero score okay, from plagiarism, okay? Be careful of that. Now, verbal citations in the body of a presentation. Well, this means when you give an oral presentation, <laughs> you need to verbally cite your sources as you speak, okay? Why? Well, you need to convince the audience first, okay? And then to show that you are a credible speaker, you need to show that your information come from a reliable, come from the yeah, reliable sources. Eh? And if you show that this information come from reliable sources, well, that is a way to avoid plagiarism, okay? It goes in cycle like this. Well, if you are, if you think like, hey, I've seen this slide before. Well, this slide is actually the one I told you that Ajahn Mintra shared with me. It's the extra stra, yeah. it's the extra file 
uh, named uh, verbal citation that I put in week six. Okay, so you can go back and download that PowerPoint. If not, I'm going to just browse through here again for you to see. Okay. So how to give citation in presentation? Well, look at this YouTube clips. Okay, it's on YouTube. Easy to click and watch it. Well. And the general way to say it, to cite, to give citation, you mention the citation first and then the information, okay? So they know, oh, do you guys know 4,000 people going to, well, they're going to, what, why, how did you get into that? Well, you have to say, well, according to the university websites, there are more than 4,000. Well, see, that sounds more professional, more reliable. Moreover, the languages for verbal citation. What can you say? According to World, Uni yeah, World University Rankings, as reported by Tapani from Channel 3, as stated by Dr. Maximov in an article from uh, Medical Journals, in an interview conducted on of uh, WHO uh, of um, Dr. Tadadad stated that uh, Okay, if you need to do a specific thing, then specify the date, month, year, who, the writer, and also if that author comes from which organization, okay? Uh, what else? A brochure, book, magazine, annual report entitled, summarizes what? Okay, a brochure, this brochure, this book summarizes the importance of global warming, see? Ah. As mentioned by Dr. Taxin uh, Chinawat, uh, uh, Thailand has become da -da 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 -ba -ba. referring to uh, what we have seen on the news yesterday. Da -da -da. Okay. Now verbs. Okay, verbs of citing sources. What can you say with the verbs? Well, he uh, Brown. This could be the last name of uh, a research a researcher. Okay, maybe his name is uh, James Brown. Okay. So I don't have to say James Brown say James Brown suggest. I can if I already say James Brown from uh, WHO estimate that more people will die from COVID nineteen. He also said that you know, I can say this or can or I can say Brown comments Brown concludes explains indicates note observes use that to instead of just say it you can use these verbs instead to make your sentences varied, okay? Brown study, emphasize, illustrate, point out, propose, show, suggest, that, third, okay? Followed by a sentence. Also, Brown's finding, confirm, establish, maintain, show that, that. Brown further asserts, points out, suggests, explain, emphasize, that, do. Okay, so, there are many ways to say this, like I said, verbs of the sources. These are just ex examples, okay? You have your own verbs you want to use, okay? But these informal presentation, especially on academic topics, including even in written report, okay? You, you will certainly see these verbs.